Hey guys, it's Jordan here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a platformer on Scratch. And, um, there's probably going to be a few videos for this. I'll try to explain as much as I can in each one. Um, so, so it's going to be scroll screen. We're going to have interactions with the walls. Um... We're going to be adding many things, and here, as you can see, I have a very simple, very easy to, very easy to, eh. <laughs> already messing up all my words, um, very easy to use, um, or to make, um, platforming system, um, with gravity, um, it's really easy to do, um, we might go a little more advanced by making it a, better platformer system but for now we'll just use that okay so let's just get straight into it okay so right away I made a um, title screen you can make this however you want all you have to do is just make a background go into backdrops and then just create a new background and there you have it and just Name it at the top using the text um, thingy right there. And then do that. You can say whatever you want. Um, since I don't want that, I will just press the back button. Um, I made it rainbows. Um, just do whatever you want. And then I added the start button to start the game. So what you need to do with this is when the green flag is clicked, you need to show this because if it's not being shown, then they can't press the button. And then also, when you click it, it's gonna broadcast start game and then hide so we won't see it anymore and the game starts. Over here, I need you guys to make, um, here, I just need to count these. One, two, three, four, five. I'm just gonna tell you what you need right now. So. Right now, I want you guys to make um, a variable called level, a level for use, and velocity. So all you have to do is go into level name and just make whatever you want and then press OK and then you'll have it there. And also, if I'm going too fast, guys, um, you can always just pause the video. Um, that would probably make it much easier um okay and here oh yeah also make lives we're not going to be using that now but um just to do that now so the backdrop that we just made which was title so name that title up there so you have to go right there um so basically you have to when the green flag is clicked Switch to backdrop title, which is in looks, right there. And then, set the variable lives to three, or how many lives you want your guy to have. But we want to hide lives, because we don't want it to be showing right when, you know, we, we when, right when we start the game, because that would be weird. The only reason I have all this stuff, guys, is just so we can test out things, and just to know where everything is. Um, so, set level for use to 1, um, set, I actually don't have that, set level, actually you don't have to do set, just keep, do not change your level at all, the regular level, and so set velocity to 0, and that's all you need so far. Also, in stage, we're going to be adding a thing called, when I receive start game, and we're going to be getting that from the start button. When we click it, the broadcast start game, then, you know, that's where we got it from. So when we receive that, we're going to show the variable lives. So we'll, sh we'll see how many lives we have. And then, since the, the reason we made a variable called level for use is because, well, we, we, we want to see what the level is. But when once we get into, like, level 1... Level for use will have to be level 2 because so it's ready for us to get into level 2. We don't want it to say it's level 2 when we're actually in level 1. So 
level for use is actually what we're actually being using, but um, well, what we're actually using and level is just what well, everyone else will see. So, anyways, if level for use equals one, which it will at the beginning of the game, it says that here. Um, set level to one. Switch backdrop to level one. So. You need to make a new backdrop. Just I all I did was simple, so I'll just show you by doing this. It was super duper simple. Scratch added this. All you have to do is press that down there. So you have to go into um, fill with color and then go with that. We'll make a nice like sky kind of thing. So yeah, you should do that. I recommend that, or you can just make your own sky. Okay, so we want to switch to that backdrop. It's, that's what it is right now. Wait 1.5 seconds. So, um, oh, actually, okay, sorry guys. Level 1 is this. So this is what we'll see. So do this main, so actually name this main game backdrop right here and name this level 1. Um, and just, you have to make it a black screen, and all you have to do is just, I'm um, in text, make it say level 1 so we know what level it is. So we want to switch to that. It will only be at the screen for 1.5 seconds. And then, after, um, after that, after we see that, we're going to be switching to backdrop main game backdrop so that's what we added the sky to be nice that nice sky um so then set level for use to two so we are ready to go to level two even though we're on level one because as you know this is what actually is happening but levels um is basically what everyone is seeing so just Set level for use to um, two. Broad, broadcast all levels get ready and broadcast level one. So all levels get ready means um, to everything to... Um, I'll explain it later. Well, where am I going? Uh, I'll explain that later because um, it's a little complex for right now because we haven't gotten that far. So broadcast level one, just so we know that's level one, and everything should be getting to to level one. Okay, enough of that. So we right now you should have that screen. Just without this stuff right here, you should have a blue background. So you should have this right now with a start button, a backdrop, um, for the title screen. And then it should say level one. And then she just have a white sky or a blue sky. Sorry. Um, okay. After let's uh, let's start doing the the fun stuff now. So make a simple ground. So just for your player to walk on. Um, and so you can just make it whatever you want. I made it look like this, and I and I set. The size to 60% if you you guys can do whatever you want but um, you can keep so what I did was I kept um, copying each object and then placing it down you can make whatever you want um, I will show you how to make a better ground and stuff a little later but let's let's just um, make a simple ground and let's get and talk about this okay so when it receives, all levels get ready, which we put there, and that means for it to start to get ready, um, it should show, and then, of course, when we start the game, we don't want it showing, so let's hide it when the green flag is clicked. And then when I receive level 1, which is the first level, so at level 1, set size to 60, forever, set X to scroll X, plus 240, times zero so you might not understand this but basically what is happening this the um the size of the 
just the size of here to here in our, I don't know what to call it. It's like, it, it's, it's hard to explain. So in our stage, just our stage is negative 240 to 240, um, um, X. So, hold on, where is, where is, uh, we're working with that ground. Um, multiplied by zero. And scroll X will always be multiplied, um, or it will be always added on to, um, scroll X will always be added on to this, to the room width. So, and scroll X will always equal where we are on the screen. So, so what we need to do now is add the player's gravity. Okay. Also, you need to make a variable called scroll X right now. Okay, you can do that. Okay, now, you'll have, name this ground, ground one. And just ignore all these, all this other stuff. Um, just, just put in an if block. Here, I'll do it. So, to put in forever block. So, it's when I receive... All levels get ready. Put an if block. And then put for sensing, touching, um, the ground you made. So if we're touching the ground one, then here, actually, sorry about that, guys. I'm not supposed to have that. Okay. So we're going to be here. This is actually, guys, supposed to be an if else block because we... There could be two things happening. Okay. So, what we're doing is, we want to set, want to set velocity to 1, which will make it so it will not be stuck in the ground. So, this will make it so, if we're in the ground, it will make us, it will put us out of the ground. Now, do change velocity by minus 0 0.4, which will make your gravity, and that will make it a little bouncy thing. Um, is it will, will make it so it won't get stuck in the walls. It'll make it so it'll just make it good. See if you set. So if you set. Um, here I'm not gonna do it here. But if you set velocity, whoops, I'll just take that out. If you set the velocity to zero, so, so if we were here, and if we were stuck in the ground, we, uh, hold on, I put the wrong thing there. Okay. We'd be stuck in the ground. So if you, so if this one's zero and this one's 0 0.4, we'd be stuck in the ground. So that's why I put... Um, this one at one. Okay. Well, there's, we will do one more thing, and then I'm going to wrap this video up. And this will be movement. So, um, where is our movement? Okay. So, First of all, what you need to do is go into this little eye thing for player, for your player, and um, do not have it like this, or your movement will be a little weird. So you have to have it at this arrow thingy, thingy thing, okay? Ignore this sensor R and sensor L thing, just add left arrow and right arrow. So if, so do when all levels get ready forever, if the left arrow um, is pressed, point in direction negative 90, which will make you point this way. Um, and also change scroll x by 4, which will make our ground move. Okay, so now the next one is the same exact thing but the opposite. If the key right arrow is pressed, point in direction, um, ne well, 90, which will be right, and um, change scroll x by minus 4, which will make it go 
the ground is all in, it's all an illusion guys all all that's happening is the ground is moving oh away from us or towards us it's just the ground is moving not us so the ground is moving around me it's all an illusion that's what they did in the mario games and everything it's all an illusion all right well anyways thank you guys for watching and peace